Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review and today we're going back over to, um, where is this from? Uh, Norway, of course, because it's Lervig and we are looking at the Lucky Jack, which is the American Pale Ale and uh, yeah, this is coming in at 4.1%. Pick this up from Beretta and uh, yeah, lovely looking can. Um, I know that the, um, the, the, I don't know if you heard that, someone was screaming outside. Um, but yeah, I think the, um, the grapefruit version of this beer is very highly regarded. And unfortunately, um, I've not been able to get a can of it because I love my grapefruit pale ales and IPAs. But uh, yeah, brewed on the 15th of the 11th, 2016. Best before is 15th of the 11th, 2017. So not the, the best in terms of age. It has to be said. But yeah, ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, yeast. Not too sure what hops they are, but I'm guessing something along the lines of like Cascade and Citra or something like that. But yeah, it's a craft can, and I've, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this beer. Mmm. Tangy. Apologies about the noise outside. And apologies that I'm a little bit merry, let's just say, in the middle of a, a chat with uh, Eric over at um, Massachusetts Beer Reviews. So, beer in the glass then, massive head because of that pour. So three fingers worth of a foamy white head. Beer in the glass then, that is, uh, God, I don't know if you can hear that outside, doesn't matter. It's all fun and games at the end of the day. Um, and I'm talking a little bit quiet because the girlfriend's asleep. So, um, yeah, anyway, beer in the glass. And look at those particulates at the bottom of that glass. Very nice indeed. Colour is a slight amber, almost lovely haze to it. Light coming through really, really nicely. That got that sort of like light sunset look to it but yeah really nice haze the particulates especially in this like bottom third of the glass just hanging around and uh yeah it looks like a damn good pale ale so far so anyway let's give it a sniff hmm. and it's got that sort of like um it's like yogurt aroma to it but you get those hops in there it's got like a a little bit of a, a funkiness to it, which I, I am putting down to age, because it's not the freshest that it could be. And you do like ever so slightly get the sense that those um those hops have faded a little bit. But not to the point where it's like I have to stop this video because it doesn't make sense to review it. You can still detect them. But yeah, it's got this like savoury edge to it. Um, there might there might be some Simcoe in there actually. I'm not too sure. I'm sure any of the links included at the bottom of the description uh, will point you to what is in this beer. The only other Lervig beer that I've had was the collaboration that they did with um, the Arizona Wilderness, and that was the Lawless, which was a saison slash farmhouse ale, which was it was all right, but that's not like my go-to style, let's just leave it at that, but still a very solid beer. And I got to drink an Arizona Wilderness related beer, which is always good. But um, yeah, this is, you get that hop, but it's like, it's got like that botanical edge to it. That like slight red onion aroma to it. It's got that very subtle level of dankness to it. A little bit of grapefruit, lychee, that sort of thing. Very slight citrus tones. But a sweet, like, caramel malt character as well. I'm getting images of something like the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, but 
just not as citrusy or as vibrant. Yeah, there's this like savoury edge to this beer that I can't put my finger on. <coughs> Excuse me. But all in all, not a bad smelling beer. But you can tell that it's muted slightly because of its age. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Give it a swirl. For no reason whatsoever. Just fucking drink it, beer. That's like a, a very subtle grapefruit juice to me. Um, not like a haze for days juice bomb type of beer. But like you've got a really <laughs> modest grapefruit juice where it's not tangy, it's not zingy, it's not too sour, it's not too bitter, it's not in your face. But you get that grapefruit flavour. And I'm going to hazard a guess, and I'm probably completely off the mark there, but I can detect that like Simcoe sort of flavour to it. It's got that slight... I've never ate um, cat litter, but I get that. I'm, I'm getting images of cat litter in my head, like cat piss almost. And that sounds terrible, but the beer itself... Not too bad. Um, you definitely get the hops in there, but they're not as vibrant as I think they would be. But you can tell that if you'd have this fresh, you know what flavours you would expect, if that makes sense. But this... It has like slight savoury edge. Like a... Basil or maybe a sage or something like that. You get that real botanical herbaceous character to it. Like a, a bag of mixed salad almost. And then you get that slight oniony, garlicky dankness coming through. And then you get this lovely bitterness that builds up on the back end. But not too much. It's not too bitter. It's not like drying out the palate or puckering you or anything like that. It, it's not a bad pale ale. Um, the age does definitely work against it. But you can, you can slightly see what is going on with that. So you will be seeing this video. And I could definitely see that including grapefruit in this beer is just going to elevate it to that next level i need to try that beer but this this is not a bad pale ale uh price wise i wouldn't pay the same again for it i know plenty of pale ales that i can buy for a fraction of the price but it's definitely a high quality product and i'm just really taken aback by that like red onion garlicky sort of character to it so um yeah in terms of a rating I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. If it's a little bit more fresh, a little bit more vibrant, it'll probably get a 7 to a 7.5, something along those lines. It's not the greatest pale ale, but I've tried much worse. I'm going to happily finish it off. And Lervig are a brewery who are doing so many great beers at the moment, and they have done you know, since they started, let's be honest. That I'm going to try more of their beers. I'm going to try the, is it the Grapefruit Jack that they call it? I can't remember. But this, not bad. I'd get more excited about this like two or three years ago. But that's due to my uh, inexperience, if you will. Um, but yeah, I think this is one of those beers that it's at its time and place. But it still stands up. It's a dependable pale ale, if that makes sense. But um, I was expecting maybe a little bit more, to be honest. Um, who's this imported by here in Germany? I'm not too sure. Back in the UK, 
it is imported by Cave Direct. Oh, here we go. Imported to Germany by Braustum Beer Verlag. So uh, yeah, if you give it, if you can find it, give it a try. I think it's one of those somewhat widely available craft ales, and um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, should I really upload this video? And uh, knowing that the age has worked against this one, I think because I, I've got an idea of what this beer could be. Maybe I'll revisit it in the future if I get a fresher can. But for what I paid, which didn't pay too much for it. <clears throat> but in this world of craft brewing, there are so many beers that I would pick over this one. But it's not a bad beer. And that's all I'm going to leave it at. So if you've tried Lervig's Lucky Jack, then let me know your thoughts opinions. Call me an idiot, call me a cunt, I don't care. Because uh, I'm fucking hard as fuck. No, I'm not. Um, I run away from fights because I'm smart. Um, I've had much better uh, American style pale ales, but I've had much worse. So, let me know your thoughts opinions down below. Check out Lervig in the description box. Uh, check out my pale ale playlist, and I hope uh, after that weird little me being a hard man stunt um, that you'll join me next time. <clears throat> for another beer review. I'm not even drunk, but I'm feeling very merry right now. So, uh, and I've had a haircut, which I, I need to sort out and style it. But, you know, when you're as big as I am, I know I lifted my shirt up then. Um, when you're as big as I am, you know, you can't really care too much about that, can you? Dead Pony Club. <laughs> it's better than that. Yeah, it's better than Dead Pony Club. Let's leave it at that. What the fuck am I doing?